Okay, here's all the different style CC Iron and Sportster heads we got for sale here. These are the late style ones, which are 70, late 73 to 81 style. So this set over here is a couple hundred bucks. It says fairly high up seats on it. So is this one not too bad. Got a big nick in the head gasket surface there. And I think there's one broken. Oh, this one had all the custom fin work done to it. Someone had a field date playing with that. So that has to be all ground if you want to make it smooth. Crappy casting. But all the fins are here. So and it's good surfaces over on this side. All the holes are good. It would be more, but it's got that problem there. Okay, that's that set, so that's 200. Okay, these ones over here, these are 300. Now these are for bare heads like that, not all the valves and rocker boxes will not be at this price. But these two here are 300. These have the seats are relatively high up. This set's just slightly lower on exhaust than this one, but they're close. So they look pretty good. All your gasket surfaces look good. We do have a broken fin over here in one of these. I forget which one it was. This one here looks good. Which one was it? There it is. I knew I had a broken fin somewhere. So there's the broken fin. That's on the rear head. So this is back next to the seat. So that's that set. This set over here had a broken fin also. Right here. And this one is the rear head again, but this one's up under behind the petcock and top of the tank where you won't see it very much. So that's this set. So this set all looks good. Once again, these are bare, no boxes, no valves, no springs. And you can have the valves, they're junk, it doesn't matter. But the uh, nipples are all in good shape on all of these heads. Nothing's been damaged on them. So these are good heads. Okay, we're going to move over to better heads. So this set's 350. This one here, the exhaust is just a tick higher. These are maybe, these aren't quite flush like the other ones were right here. The intakes are about the same. So these probably had one less valve job on them. So once again, they're all good. Oh, this set over here, uh, I forget what these were. This set here is actually the late style air cleaner mounts on them. This set here does not have that. So this set here is probably up through uh, I think like 75, 76, something that time frame. I think they did this in 77 when they put the air cleaner mounts up on these. So they're the same casting, the only difference is that boss is not there. So that set's later than this set. Okay, these sets over here, we're all going early sets on these. These are all earlier sets. So these are all your 73 to 76 style heads. So this set here was a 350 on this set. So this has good fins on everything. No broken fins, they all look nice. So good set. Valve heights are nice and high. So they look pretty good. Ports are good. They're relatively centered up close. And of course the nipples are all good over here on the intake. Okay, now this one over here, we're up to $400. This one here, I think basically is a brand new head. It still has the machine marks on here like it's never been run. So I think this is actually a brand new head. Or it came off a brand new bike with no miles on it, but even the bosses for the Head bolts don't even have damage to them. Just to get the factory style paint on them. There's no, it's all machine surfaces here. This has not been blasted. It's just there's no marks. Even exhaust port looks like there's nothing really been on there. Still see all the factory machining. So, okay. but we have one broken fin here. Now this is on our rear head. So that's why I'm not getting as much money because it should be at least 300 bucks per head at that kind of price, minimum. Uh, this one here is another one that's got nice high seats up on this. You can see how high they are relative to this one. This set here is up there nice and high also. Good, good gasket surface that I can see. No broken fins. Pull back a little bit. It's the earlier style head again. 
Nipples are good, so it's another a good set of heads. This is the best set over here. This set's 450. And once again, we got another head that looks almost brand new. So, oh, this is the one that has no running marks on it. This is the one I thought that was this one. This one you can actually see it on the exhaust port here. You can see a little bit discolor right here, like it got hot ones. But other than that, it doesn't look like it's ever been run. This one here, oops, damn things. This one here, there's no color at all. These look brand spanking new. So, same thing, no marks or anything really. Looks like it's been mounted. So this one here doesn't have any broken fins on this one. So this one's in good shape. This one, like I said, it looks basic like a brand new head. Don't know. Doesn't show like a spark plug's really been mounted in there too much. So really, really good condition. And this is the matching one here. This is the one that's been blasting and painted black a few years ago, probably. But uh, this one has no, no broken fins on it either. So, nice good head. Good intake nipple. Ports are good and straight. No big offsets and everything. So it's good flowing heads too for stock. And we got the real high up valve. Seat heights right here. See, they look just like the new one. So, anyway, that's the different heads. So, we got three, we got six different sets here. So, all you do is let me know which ones you want, and we'll build you up some heads. So, there we go.